Hello, and welcome to the step-by-step -step UC Application Overview hosted by UC Santa Barbara's Office of Admissions. In this overview, we will detail how to work through the Personal Insight Questions section of the UC application. The Personal Insight Questions are the writing portion of the UC application. Freshman applicants will find that there are eight short response questions to choose from, and they are only able to answer four. The response to each of the PIQs will be no more than 350 words. The PIQs are available online on the UC of the Office of the President website, both in English and Spanish. You may scan the QR code to view the PIQ worksheet that breaks down each of the eight PIQs. Please remember that there is only one UC application for all of the UC campuses, and each campus you apply to will get a copy of your application. With that being said, the UC application cannot be tailored for each individual campus, and you should not include campus-specific information in your personal insight question responses. As you are working through this section, the questions will be noted at the top of the screen with a text box underneath. All of this will be downloaded by the Office of Admissions. So in other words, you do not need to repeat the question in your response, as the admissions readers will know which questions you have selected. Not repeating the question will help you save on your word count. You'll notice that the word count will be listed at the bottom left-hand side of the open text field so that you can keep track of where you are in that 350 word limit. However, we do encourage you to work on your responses in a separate document because there is a 20 minute timer attached to the application for security purposes. Working on your responses in a separate document will allow you to take breaks in between and you'll be able to copy and paste your responses onto the application once you are done. So what belongs in the personal insight question responses? Well, the purpose of the PIQs is really threefold. Number one, they offer clarity and give the reader a richer perspective into your life, experiences, and accomplishments. They also offer context by sharing details about yourself, your environment, and your experiences. You'll be helping the reader better understand your successes and accomplishments with respect to the opportunities that were available to you. What opportunities or limitations did you face within your home, your school, or your community? Once again, all of this context can be provided within these responses. Lastly, your personal insight questions give depth and they give readers details in your application that can't be found anywhere else. The PIQs are your chance to share information that you haven't shared elsewhere in the UC application. This is your opportunity to share what is most meaningful and unique to you as an individual. Through your responses, you can provide the reader with more insight into who you are, not only as a student, but also as an individual. You'll notice that the eight personal insight questions are numbered in the UC application, but they are not ranked. We do not value one question over another, so please choose the questions that are the best fit for you and that you'll be able to create a thorough response. All of these particular responses can have a hundred different talking points about one subject or another, and it's going to be completely up to you, the student, to decide. But it is best to choose topics or instances that are relevant to your high school experiences or years that have impacted who you are today as an applicant. And remember, that is what matters most. It is the content, not the grammar or the punctuation in your responses. The admissions officers are not English teachers. We are not here to grade your responses, but instead, we want to know more about you. Everything in your UC application is either viewed as neutral or positive. It is considered an additive process, so everything you input into the application will work in your favor, not against it. But there are some things that we recommend you try to avoid in your PIQs. It is recommended that you do not include things like creative writing or quotes. We want to know your thoughts and your words, not someone else's and these often do not add any value to your responses and you'd lose out on some of the limited word count. Storytelling and scene setting. While we want you to provide details in the responses, those details should be about you and not about setting the scene or providing excessive background information. Flowery language. As mentioned earlier, admissions readers are not English teachers, so you should stick to using everyday language. You want to avoid all things listed on the screen because they can often detract from quickly understanding the student's point of view in the personal insight question responses. And as a reminder, your PIQ responses are not essays. We are not grading them. 
Instead, we are evaluating them to learn new information that adds value to your application and allows us to know your circumstances. The last thing to know is students need to write their own PIQ responses. Your PIQ must be in your own words, and if you are caught plagiarizing anywhere on the UC application, you will not be admitted to a UC campus. After you complete your personal insight question responses, you will have the opportunity to include any additional comments or information that you did not have the opportunity to share elsewhere in your application. To be clear, the additional comment section is not to be used to continue any of your PIQ responses. Feel free to use brief sentences to convey the information precisely. You can include both academic and non-academic information in this section. Thank you for watching this overview of the Personal Insight Questions section of the UC application. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to UCSB's Office of Admissions or the UC Application Help Desk. Best of luck to you in the application process, and thank you so much for joining.